Once I get you up there Where the air is rarefied Starry eyed, yeah We'll just cry Once I get you up there I'll be holding you so It's perfect for a flying I knew what they say Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly Back up, let's fly away is Radio 2. On BBC Sounds. And on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Matthew Carter. Scotland's former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has insisted she's innocent of any wrongdoing after being questioned by police as part of their investigation into the SNP's funding and finances. She was released without charge pending further investigations. Labour's shadow Scottish Secretary Ian Murray said Ms Sturgeon's successor also had questions to answer. The new First Minister Hamza Youssef could perhaps uh, tell us what he knew uh, and when, when he was informed by the former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon of when she would uh, be arrested or if she'd be arrested, uh, why she resigned. Um, There is no doubt there are still many questions to be answered about why she resigned so quickly. Three more teenagers have been arrested on suspicion of murdering a 16-year-old boy in Bath last night. He was stabbed. Two 15-year-old boys and a 16-year-old boy are being held in police custody. Another eight teenagers were arrested shortly after the incident. Ukraine says its troops have recaptured two neighbouring villages from the Russians in the southeast of the country. The first it's claimed to have liberated since launching a counter-offensive. Russia's Ministry of Defence has not confirmed the reports. Mayani Jones reports from Kyiv. These recaptured villages are more of a symbolic victory than a sign that Ukrainian forces are gaining the upper hand. Their sizes are very small. Both villages have a combined population of less than 700 people. But it does indicate that Ukrainian forces are focusing their counter-offensive in the southeast of the country. It's also potentially a sign that recapturing territory may well be a long process, measured in small incremental gains rather than big wins. Three British tourists are still missing in Egypt after the diving boat they were on caught fire in the Red Sea off the coast of Masa Alam. Twelve more Britons, twelve crew and two guides were rescued. The Foreign Office is supporting those involved. Early investigations suggest an electrical fault may have caused the fire. Workers at the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency in Swansea have begun two weeks of strike action in their long-running civil service disputes over pay, pensions, jobs and conditions. The action involves members of the Public and Commercial Services Union. It says the walkout is likely to lead to backlogs for driving licences. Tennis and Novak Djokovic has become the most successful men's singles tennis player of all time. The Serbian beat Kasper Rudd in the French Open final to secure a record 23rd Grand Slam title. Speaking after the match, he said he was glad to make history at Roland Garros. It's kind of symbolic in a way that I won my historic 23rd here in Roland Garros. It just uh, makes it even sweeter and even greater knowing what it takes to win a Grand uh, Roland Garros for me. You know, it's just... Not to take anything away from, of course, the winning of any other slam, but just Roland Garros is the is a highest mountain to climb for me. The weather showers will generally ease tonight. There'll be cloudy skies for many with mist and fog in the west. BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. Now, BBC Radio 2 unwinds. With Angela Griffin. Hello there, this is Radio 2 and Wines. I'm Angela Griffin and I am here to give you a musical massage that is guaranteed to give you a happy ending. Whether you are listening on Sunday evening or on BBC Sounds at your own leisure, welcome and enjoy. Coming up, we have Christine and the Queens and Christina Aguilera, who is actually just a queen and a bit of actual queen. 
First up though, let's start with a positive affirmation from Florence and the Machine with You've Got the Love. Sometimes I feel like 